So how do we awaken a zeal for mission? <laughs> and what happens when we awaken that zeal? The Great Commission, of course, is Jesus' call to all Christians. So I have to ask you, on Sundays, after we gather for worship, we learn from the Word, we get fed at the table, are we being sent out? How do we hear and respond to Jesus' call to go? And is that going for all or just a few? Can we awaken a zeal for mission in the man in the pew, in that church where he so faithfully worships every Sunday? How can he be sent out without ever getting on a plane? Anglican Global Mission Partners has been addressing these questions for a long time. We've been creating resources to help draw congregations' eyes to the ends of the earth and resources that help our mission response. AGMP is a network of Anglican, global, mission-minded churches, dioceses, and agencies in North America. AGMP seeks to unite the needs of the mission field with the people in the pews where they are called to serve. I want to share, you can, it's fine. I want to share just a bit of what happened in our diocese. Over the last 20 years, I believe that global mission has transformed the diocese of Fort Worth. This transformation seemed first to be the transformation of individuals, and then their parish or mission, and then the diocese. So what happened to move our diocese into global mission? Well, two things. In 1996, we entered into a companion relationship with the Diocese of Northern Malawi. And soon after this time, our diocesan church women began to respond to a great rescue of street children in Mexico. Mm -hmm. Through these two events, God drew our eyes and our hearts to the ends of the earth. I want to give you a visual. You know those sprinklers that you put in the ground and you can, you know, aim them where you want? We've all used them and seen, well, this was our church. We had a lot of green grass. There was a lot of local mission. There was worship galore. Beautiful, beautiful Anglican worship. And we were working hard. And then God asked us to aim this sprinkler all the way over to the other side. And we noticed it all got watered. And I have to say that everything changed from the far away perspective. All of this close by was dramatically different. How can we as mission leaders help draw, draw those eyes all the way over to the other side? Well, AGMP is ready to, to help. I want to share some of the resources that already exist and are available. Um, Okay, let's go to the next slide. The first video, wonderful video that we have for you is Gary Haugen's God's Passion for the World. Now, I want to give you a little uh, background about this video. In 2003, Gary was speaker in the New Wineskins Conference, and this was the beginning of his call to start International Justice Mission. I hope you all know about that work. Uh, if not, go find out. It's amazing what they're doing. Well, he had such a compelling presentation that a few years ago, as AGMT was trying to create a resource to be used in churches for World Mission Sunday, we were still remembering Gary's call to us, that, that, that challenge. And so we decided to just take that original uh, plenary talk and put it down into a 30-minute version and use it for distribution during World Mission Sunday. Um, we have a trailer, and I hope we'll pray, Lord Jesus, could you just do everything in your power to let this video <laughs> shine. Yes, uh, and I want to, this is just a trailer, but I want to give you a little bit of an idea of what this video is about. Okay, yes. Unfortunately, out of the other one. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Sorry. That's okay. It'll, It'll be, be there in a minute. minute. It'll be there in a minute. It's a practical It'll question why he's doing that. Sure. So um, is this list um, somewhere or go to an AGMP website or? Yes, yes. These resources, well, first off, you can download all the map talk resources or should be on your, your um, app if you have the app. But all of these resources are going to are, are available on the New Wineskins website mm -hmm. under Parish Resources. And more. And more. You think it'll work? Yeah, but it's going to take a moment to get, okay, he's get, got to get the system yeah. set up. Yeah. Sorry. Um, so let me just say that. On this website, uh, uh, New Wineskins is housing a lot of these uh, resources. So if you'll go to Resources and then to Parish Resources, um, click on that, you'll see down at the bottom all, all sorts of... Okay. Okay, here we are. You've got the 26-minute version of the We have the long one? Yes, this is yeah. it. No, this, I think this, this is, is it. What do you think is probably the most difficult thing for people in our... Can you hear? It's the only volume I got. I think it's simply the idea that God is good. What is God's plan for making it believable to these people that He is good? It turns out from Scripture, there's a very interesting answer. It turns out that we are the plan. If you're like me, you just feel totally overwhelmed. We see the need in the world. We see what power and capacity we have. And we say, my goodness, this must not have anything to do with me. What do you have? Will you give it to me? And in that moment, Jesus takes responsibility for the miracle. God is so eager to do these miracles, but he, he wants to include us. And when we show up, we actually make it believable that God is good. Because they see the body of Christ actually show up. Well, I, I'm sorry that you couldn't hear it probably too well or see it, but please go on on and find this video. But the show it to your congregations. What what we've had is we've had congregations that um, show it, and then we have study uh, discussion guides where they can talk about uh, what is God calling them to do. It is a wonderful, wonderful resource. All right, another video that we have is Lisa Chen's Reaching International Students. I don't even know, you want to try to play the clip? I'm not going to hear much, especially with the air conditioner going. Okay, okay. All right, so Lisa challenges congregations with the opportunity to reach the world through mere hospitality. Hmm. She ends, the, she talks about, in this video, she talks about the small church in the middle of nowhere that brings these students in and brings hospitality just and the first time they've ever had a meal in an American home. And of course, Jesus shows up and conversion happens. And the transformation that's available, not only for the student, but for the congregations. There's also a discussion guide for her talk. Um, and, and we just really have seen congregations, just with the act of hospitality, reach the nations and be transformed. God transforms congregations as well as the nations as they reach out and meet one another. So thinking about that man in the pew who may never get on a plane, how does he go? Well, we have heard over and over here at New Wine Skins, prayer is the most important thing. The power of prayer, the need of prayer. Without prayer, nothing happens in mission. So AGMP has created a litany for mission. We'll have them there at the door when you leave. But this is an incredible way for congregations to just pray this litany. Uh, we love it when they have a week, weekly service. It's great for your daily prayers, but corporate prayers as well. There's a great impact on individuals and churches. We pray this litany regularly. 
and we'll have a chance to see a part of it tomorrow at the Cajun Eucharist. We hope that churches will begin all this call to cover the world in prayer. This is a wonderful, wonderful resource to do that. So back to what happened in our diocese as our hearts and our eyes were drawn to the nations. We had a significant, <coughs> heartfelt mission fire raging through our diocese. We had met our brothers and sisters in Malawi. We'd seen children being rescued. The heart response was amazing. But quickly we learned that a heart response is no, not always a mission appropriate response. We needed help for things like dependency and training. You know, when we began to hear about dependency, we had a storage unit full of love offerings for the Malawians. Things like electric percolators. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to AGMP and they helped us. They spent time studying partnerships, looking at healthy models that were fruitful. I know, that's <laughs> so true. The heart response is not always a mission appropriate response. <laughs> Uh, so we, 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 looked, we studied partnerships and, and healthy models that were fruitful. And then they created partnership guidelines for us. And these guidelines, <coughs> they help us, instead of thinking of, of this one-sided partnership, to see partnership as equals, sharing with one another, instead of just givers and receivers. These guidelines have deepened our understanding of partnership. It's a wonderful charts, biblical references for, for how you enter into these charts that help us on both sides look at our relationships and our partnerships and constantly evaluate them. We still refer to all of these partnership guidelines with all of our cross-cultural uh, relationships because mission can be messy. The last resource that I want to show you is probably the one that has impacted our diocese the most. As we were beginning to understand this need for training, we realized in our diocese that many of our ministries trained their leadership. Lay readers, Altar Guild, Stephen Ministers, they were all trained. We wanted to train our parish mission leaders. So AGMP helped us by creating this parish mission leader certification program. The program provides participants with the skills and experience necessary to establish and or strengthen the outreach and global mission programs of their local church, no matter what the size. The program includes four components, usually offered over a year's time. It begins with a mission overview, where participants discover God's heart for the world and how our gifts <coughs> and passions can align with his purposes. That training is followed with a short-term mission team training, and then the participants go on a short-term trip where they learn all about and understand the realities of life and ministry in another culture. The last component of this training is a mobilizer seminar which provides specific training on how to help a congregation understand and embrace God's global purposes. It also prepares and prepares the participants to assess their current weaknesses and strengths in their programs, no matter what size program. Over the course of a few years, our diocese had certified parish mission leaders in 11 of our congregations. That has significantly affected our mission response. So these are just a few of the resources that already exist. As I said, you can go to the New Wine Skins website under resources, then parish resources, and access many, many more videos, depending on, on, on what interest, if you, if 
it's a local thing. We have videos on all sorts of things. Um, but more importantly, AGMP is ready to come alongside you in any way that we can, with, just as they did with the Diocese of Fort Worth. As we had the needs, they were able to come alongside of us and specifically help us train and answer our needs. So please know, AGMP is ready. And if you have any other specific questions for me, we'll have some time now. But, but uh, on the app, you can still access me, Lolly Twyman, and I'd love to come alongside and help. Um, or call Jenny no Noyce or email her at info at agmp.na.org. Um, there it is right there. All right. So, yes, yes. Kind of a silly question, probably, but on the previous slide, all four of those parts had one. Because <laughs> every one of them is as important as the other. Okay. I was wondering if that. Well, actually, no, I think it was just a foul up in the uh, in the PowerPoint. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm not sure I like your song. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. How was the training conducted um, for the uh, parish mission leaders? Is that done like at the diocesan level, say the Gulf Atlantic Diocese or our parish? How would we? Okay, that's that's a really good question. Ours was done at the diocesan level. <laughs> Um, but but it can also be done at the parish level. Okay, and how do we do? Is it does AGMP have someone that comes to us? Oh, we can absolutely. Not? That's what I'm saying. It, just depending on what how what your need is, and so we can come in and and so like the the component of the the mission overview, you know, we can we can come in and help, or we can put you to to resources that where you can teach that component one night. Um, I think our entire certification program is, is incredible. Uh, it, it, it transformed. Well, yeah, it transformed our... The, the cross cultural pitfalls and not gather a bunch of electric yeah. Right. Now, we were doing, we did it at the diocesan level. And so we brought in, uh, for the mission overview, we did a path light course, which is a perspective light course. And we brought in AGMP, speak. we did it for five nights and uh, five weeks and so we brought in different AGMP speakers um, we moved from church to church and, and had maybe 45 people that went through that course at one time some of the at the end of that course um, you know there was always that that what is God calling you to do that was the follow-up of that and and one of the options was do you you know is he calling you to continue this and, and be certified others just it just, you know, they were not feeling that. They wanted to work in their parish, their, you know, mission at, at the church. There were just different responses. But the mission overview, I felt like, was just one of the most, well, it's, it's something that if you didn't go any further, all of our churches need that, right? We need these resources, these things, which the Gary Haugen is a really, really wonderful way to just draw our hearts into God's, God's purpose, God's call, and, and the opportunity that we have to join in. So, yeah. Our international and local outreach leaders need training. Yes. Yeah. 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 But, but the rest of these, the short-term mission training and, and going on the mission trip, which is certainly important, but to link it to the training that you just had, and you go, oh, this is what... We are now experiencing that thing that we just learned. I mean, that happened over and over, and it was just more ways. So that then when you lead a team, um, as a team leader, that, you know, you train them properly. Well, even I think the mission team leader for a parish needs to have that make sure that their short-term mission leaders are trained. Yeah, right. Indeed. And not just randomly send groups. Right. Absolutely. It's hugely important. And that's what we learned. That's what we learned. And that's why we wanted to go through this, is to really have an effort to get get this training so that when, when someone is at the parish level and they are um, the mission committee, that we've given them as much as we can. And of course, this isn't, isn't the stop, but once you get that basis, then and then and then you know, out there you continue to grow. I mean, you continue to learn every every time. Any other questions? 
Well, thank you all so much. Thank you so much for coming. I'm sorry that our, our little clips didn't show, but I, I cannot tell you enough about how good that Gary Haugen video is. Mm -hmm. And I really, really commend it to you uh, to, think, to see it for yourself and then to think about showing it at the parish. So how do I find this? Just These videos. Okay, yes. You can, you, again, go to New Wineskins website resources and then the then you'll get a number of resource blocks and one of them says parish resources and so they're on the parish resource block okay good what about the litany pardon me i'm doing get the litany yeah these are at the door please pick, be sure and pick up the um the, little packets, the packets all right thank you so much thank you for coming